You may know Carson Kressley and Tom Felicia as the stars of the original Fab Five from Queer Eye from the Straight Guy, but now they're on a mission to make America chic again. The duo is teaming up for a new design show called Get a Room with Carson and Tom, in which they revamp homes into breathtaking and affordable spaces using their expert skills and signature charm. Let's take a look. I'm Tom Felicia. I'm Carson Kressley. And, and we're, we're going into business together. We're going to be designing homes. Mm -hmm. Look out, America. I'm an interior designer in New York City. I have about 20 designers that work in my office. I love those. Okay. I would go with those two. We sell throughout the United States and throughout the world. I have always had a career in the design world. And a lot of designers, they all have home collections. So I got bitten really hard by the design bug. I was like, ow, I want to buy a sofa. I'm actually freaking really out. Nervous? Yes but I kind of, sort of, don't really know what I'm doing. Just broke the chandelier. I'm an idiot savant, but the savant is silent. <laughs> Most of you know us from Queer Eye. We're laying in a random guy's bed. Yeah, it feels like old times. <laughs> and we've been besties ever since. I thought, Tom knows what he's doing. He's like, you have great taste, I just have to learn from somebody. Maybe that somebody could be you. Come on, Carson. <laughs> That's not the door. We're going to be designing all kinds of projects. Some with big budgets. You're looking at $130,000. And some not so big. 5000 It's not always easy. I know. I trust you guys. Kind of. Houston, we have a problem. What's the return policy? This is worse than when Tom Ford left Gucci. But in the end, it's totally worth it. This is amazing. Oh, my god. We don't call gay magic for nothing. One amazing decorator and one person who has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> Everyone, please give a warm bill bunch welcome to Carson Kressley and Tom Felicia. Woo! Thank you. Please sit down. <laughs> sit down. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Calm down. down. You're too much. Thank, Thank you. you. Carson, Tom. It's such a privilege to have you Thank guys. You so much. I remember hey. when the original Queer Eye Guy came out. You must have been in utero. <laughs> oh my God, you're so young. Did, I, you, it did was your a, mother put her iPad up to her womb? <laughs> we watched before iPads, yeah. But we, that first I was thing. in the womb, but my mom was watching. But that show oh. opened our hearts and our minds, and it was a whole family activity. Thank you. So it's such a privilege to have you guys on. That's but it's awesome. so cool that you guys are doing a new show for Bravo. We yeah. are. Get everyone with we Carson are. And Tom. I was lucky enough to watch the first episode, and I loved it Thank so much. Thank you. Um, you guys, you're absolutely right. It's great. <laughs> great. It's great. It's informative. There's new lingos and words. Like right. Bouger. Yes. Bouger. Bouger. Yeah. yeah. And you, and, you, and, you, and all your clients, some of them are actually dead. So it's a really <laughs> yeah. exciting show. And they, yeah. yeah. She still complained too. That was she kind did. Of like, we were like, like you like this paint color, and then the chandelier would, would move a little bit. Like, oh, <laughs> that's not no, gonna work. Did it. Yeah. It's real. Can you, can you give our viewers savage. Some, that's savage. some context yeah, to the yeah. show and why there was a ghost? Sure. Well, she's a psychic. We every episode which the trailer kind yeah. of showed, we do like a major project for a, a client that has maybe a larger budget or right. more square footage, and then a smaller project for a more approachable um, space and maybe a smaller budget, mm -hmm. smaller square footage. And our, our client in the first episode is a psychic. Yeah. And, and she, she really was, I mean, she was amazing. So she talented, was the real so deal. So talented, the real deal. I mean, we were a little like, okay, we're going to check this out. She gave and us a she, reading. She gave us like, a reading. It was like it really amazing. Out for you? It was absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah. she was, she contacted was kind of, like people from the beyond. And, and she gave us a reading about the other, oh, the other, the client. other client on the episode. Yeah. And it was, ex it was precise. And it the whole was the real deal. And we the didn't even deal. realize when it, when she told it, we were like, no, that doesn't make sense. She was like, right. the new queer eye is not as good as Right. There was no, yeah. And then uh, she she was she inherited this really amazing um, light. Her mother-in-law owned Chandelier, a beautiful right. kind of brownstone yeah. in Weehawken, and she was right. going to open her psychic <laughs> parlor in one of the rooms that her uh, late mother-in-law had decorated right. and was very proud of. So we had to redo the space. And I'm like, oh no, we're going to have a ghost right. after us. Yeah. She well, doesn't the, like what we did. And, and, the, and the, the chandelier in the room was a chandelier that was left to her by her mother-in-law, mm -hmm. and that she said it was really important to her, so she kept it. And then Carson and I kind of we started talking to it, which seems a little strange. <laughs> no, but and well, then I think the psychic said, said like sometimes the crystals from, on the chandelier from, will right. move in a certain direction. And, I was and like, they'll say this yes isn't no. Scooby Doo. She said she I was said like, we gotta keep working. It was like here. counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise was yes and yeah. you know whatever. And so we were asking the chandelier questions, and it's really I'm not even no, it it just for real. It just it started is. to spin, yeah. and we were like. Yeah. I, I, I kept thinking the producer, I was like, is someone like I was like, we gotta go buy some yeah. <laughs> hey, Well, when you bought the orange drapes, you were worried you were gonna get a cosmic bitch slap to the face. Yeah, <laughs> but, and really really yeah. It, it, it did, and that's kind of like the idea of the show is that, you know, I think I have okay taste and I know yeah. how to dress, but you know, designing a room, I thought was very similar to yeah. that, but actually, mm -hmm. it's a lot different right. because 
lighting changes everything. Paint looks different when it's right, on the right, wall. Right, right. So mm. that's where Carson Tom is also made the me. curtains on this that particular episode. I did make. And that. when he said to me he was going to make the curtains because it was you know we were trying to fit things in our budget, I thought. What could go wrong? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I made them with that tape curtains. that you iron on. It was great. And they weren't working. They're like, the iron's <laughs> nothing, not no, plugged no, nothing in. Nothing went wrong. They oh. actually were great. And then with the yeah. other, your other clients, you know, while Tom is busy moving furniture yeah. and designing, you're mm -hmm. opening a bottle of champagne. So you the real part of about Well, first of all, I didn't realize that was It's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> first of all, first just of all. so you know, if I had any idea that was happening, I would have been so involved in that. <laughs> right. I was like, wait a minute. This is happening and I wasn't involved? Like, I was actually, I wasn't so upset about him opening the bottle I of think champagne. I, I was just come like, in well, and offer you say, Tom, get up. Oh, you did, I think. I think I but did. it was like, l yeah. It was late. It was, um, yeah, we were there forever. Because it's yeah. really real. Yeah. Can yeah. I ask a question? So I'm a design aficionado myself. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, okay. But like, a lot of people aren't. Yes. And what are the biggest mistakes that you see people making mm. when they're trying to design their own rooms? Well, I mean, I think the first episode is a great example yeah. of the mistake that a lot of people make, which is being paralyzed by making a decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is like, you know, I think what happens is that you get so overwhelmed and you start to overthink things to certain, to such a level that you just aren't able to like sort of pull the trigger and, and start. Mm -hmm. I also think the other thing that people do is they are really excited about a design and they create a Pinterest board and they yeah. you know they do all of these things and they have all of this inspiration mm -hmm. that they love and I then they're that. like I don't know I'm just afraid maybe this color is too much mm -hmm. I, I think I'm gonna, and they start dialing it back and they sort right. of water it down to almost like beige to kind yeah. of nothing. So I think so, getting yeah. it started, getting it started, and 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 really, you know, trusting your instincts, mm -hmm. and 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 you know, Getting don't cold. yeah, don't don't sort of beat the life out of How it. How do you feel about pattern clashing? Uh, I mean, uh, apparently I have no problem with that. <laughs> um, I you know I think and and Tom has said this as well, like. Look at your closet and yeah. see like the colors that you like and the textures right. and the patterns. That's probably okay. things that you're gonna right. like living in. Right. Um, and that's a great way to get started. And uh, paint also, like you right. can choose a bold paint color. You can always paint it over. It's right. pretty inexpensive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of time. And then save like the pattern and the things that you might tire of for throw pillows, blankets, things that right. you can switch remove out. easily and switch out and get it like an inexpensive right. place like a home goods or yeah. something like that. I love that. Do you yeah. start with like one piece? Like I'm I'm somebody who gets paralyzed, so I do the minimal. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So like do you start with a couch that you love and then build from there? Like is there something well, that should inspire the room? I, well I I always say that you should, you know, start with anchor pieces for a room. So in a living room it's a great idea to start with a sofa, right. the key mm -hmm. piece, the thing that really makes it without the sofa, it's just kind of like a room with a couple of chairs in it. Right. And then dining room, dining table, you know, great dining table that sort of, you know, anchors the room, uh, a, the bed for the bedroom, the, you know, bedding and the mattress and, and really creating that, like, that moment. Mm. And everything around it can sort of be a little bit more, it can sort of phase in and phase out. Mm -hmm. It could be two lucite boxes with, you know, inexpensive, right. like, little task lamps on it and it looks great with that great piece. Mm -hmm. But, so it's really the anchor piece, I think, mm -hmm. that sort of defines it. A rug is a great way, like a lot of times people are like, how do I start, how do I pick colors, what do I do? Mm -hmm. So you, you can start with a rug and use that as an inspiration mm -hmm. for the room. It's sort of, I, I used to call that sort of building from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps people. Yeah, but it can, it can really be anything. It yeah. could be a favorite piece of artwork, it could be a movie that you love, there could be a vibe, <laughs> that kind yeah. of. Um, inspiration yeah. is kind of everywhere, and it's yeah. the same in fashion. Like sometimes a collection is based on a film or a picture right. or right a flower that right. somebody saw on a walk, so. On Queer Eye years ago, one of our episodes was this young guy that lived out at the beach, and mm -hmm. it, the inspiration for his entire living room were, was his surfboard. Oh. So that was the thing that sort of, you know, sort of became that sort of springboard. And also, what what's great about that is that for a guy that is not a design aficionado, he was, we were able to start to look at it and talk about, like, like the, sort of the vibe of you know mm -hmm. of, of surfing and the colors mm -hmm. and all of that and so he, he started to have sort of a design dialogue that he never thought was something he well would he he do. understood the concept right. so right. you start you know that's the other thing I learned doing the show and what Tom is so genius at like have a plan like have a floor plan of your room so you know what's going to fit and how much you need that's a great yeah. shopping list then have a concept an inspiration photo an inspiration board an idea that you right. can kind of just say does this work with like surfboard chic oh no that's floral that doesn't <laughs> right, work right, right, keeps right. you on track so right. sort of, yeah it basically gives you a sort of a blueprint and it, and it and it answers a lot of the questions mm -hmm. you know it's just like if you know that the sofa that you're looking for is a certain size you rule out like 
if, they're, if you're looking at 20 sofas, you can right. roll out almost half of them immediately because they just don't fit. Do you guys change up your own spaces at home like every other week because you're just like, new idea, we're, new I don't, idea. I mean, I haven't, I feel like I've only been, yeah. It's like, we have, we're not home a lot. <laughs> you're like, I don't have a home. Uh, but, like, but doing the show, yeah, yeah, it yeah, did inspire yeah. me. Like I have my apartment here in the city, I renovated like 10 years ago and it's basically the same. And I actually, for me, yep. I kept it pretty neutral. It's like taupe and gray. And mm. I do have a pink lacquer bathroom because <laughs> it makes your skin look amazing. <laughs> uh, but that was the only like Good crazy test. thing I did. Mm. And um, so I'll just update it like, I buy new lamps occasionally. Yeah. Right. During the show, we went to Amazing Resources. Carson so I would actually, leave with like pillows. No, 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 He's no. like, what are those Every, for? Carson's always like, wherever we're shopping, there's like this things that we're getting for the, the show. Client. And then there's a huge pile over here of things that we're getting. because <laughs> We're Very like Carson. fitting them in the car for yeah. Carson. It's hilarious. And I'm like, and Antonio then he also gave me these editing. pillows. Like, this is <laughs> it's hilarious. I do shop a lot. We did something yesterday that I think your audience would really love too. And we did like a rental apartment, mm. which, you know, so many people live in rentals and how, yep, what do you yeah. want to do? Like, what should you invest in? And Tom had the genius things like only invest in things that you can take with you. Right. Because yeah. you're renting everything else. You're renting your walls, your floors. So right. don't paint, don't wallpaper, like invest right. in unless a good it's sofa. Really, unless it's desperate, I, right. I try to avoid that. You right. know, it's yeah. just like, because you can make it look great with all of the things that you bring to the space. If the if the space is a pretty clean backdrop, mm -hmm. and make it look great, make it feel great, and, and and invest you know your money in the things that you can take with you, and it was so interesting. And here's this young girl, and she was really cool and smart, and she was thinking like, well, should I repaint the apartment? Should you know she was thinking of all of these things that I mm -hmm. I just thought, if you have a limited budget and you and you want to be sort of really thoughtful about what you do, buy a great piece, of, buy four pieces of art, and that will be the color on mm -hmm. that wall, and really mm -hmm. do something great with that, and invest it in something that that'll give you that you can bring with you, and that'll give you a better return. Okay. Yeah. With, with the show, does it mean something to be back on Bravo? And yes. what, what do you guys oh God, yeah, hope yeah, people sure. take away from now this <clears throat> new show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think the first, so Carson and I were, were at a dinner this about almost a year ago mm -hmm. with uh, a, a bunch of people from Bravo. And, you know, we sat down and, and it was, you know, welcome home. So it was, mm -hmm. that was kind of a really great moment. Mm -hmm. And I, and I do think that we were talking about this yesterday. It's sort of full circle for us right. to be back on Bravo to be mm -hmm. working together again. We've even talked about the idea of, you know, working with the other, you know, the, the other queer eye guys, yeah. both new and old. And mm -hmm. so yeah, so it's like one yeah. of those things that that we're yeah, we're we're excited it about. It feels good. Yeah. And um I think it, you know, it's a it's also a perfect place for us because I think it's a personality network. Right. Yeah. And our spaces that we create right. are Pretty personality packed. I mean, they're really interesting. I mean, there's not a lot of beige going even our on. Dad, even our dead client had a big personality. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Couldn't shut her up. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a perfect fit. And Bravo's doing this whole thing where they're creating like you know an evening of uh, shows about real estate and design. Right. And I think it just fits. It's right. you know people. Are and that into actually that. fits. It fits our personality because we are the demographic that we would we would be watching mm -hmm. that. That's like right. something that we would be interested in. So to actually be a part of it. And to and to be sort of communicating to other people that are interested in it, it feels very organic. Yeah. yeah. And how does it yeah. feel to know that the show? Uh, I mean, thinking of Queer Eye now, like mm -hmm. still impacts and resonates with fans. I mean, I think that's so oh, wonderful. Yeah. I think it. I mean, I think we both think it's great. I mean, I, I think the idea that the it, it's amazing to us that the new Queer Eye is is resonating the way it is, and we mm -hmm. love that, and we think it's great. Mm -hmm. To see the brand continue to grow and evolve is really amazing. And then also for us to see the old episodes on Bravo, right. and for people to still connect with it, although we look at it and go, oh what were we, what, <laughs> what were we shooting our hair? I had a feathered crazy. mullet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It worked so hard, it worked. Oh we all were flat iron like yeah. crazy. It was yeah. like, we all looked like Judge Hatchet. Yeah. It, like, it was 2003. But <laughs> different times. Yeah, but it regardless of the era, whether it's the original yeah. Queer Eye or the new one, yeah. I think it even transcends the cast and the times. It's just, the show is such a great idea because it celebrates people mm -hmm. yeah. at its core. And I hear from young people like your ages yeah. and now a new generation of young people who say, watching the show just made me realize like queer people are a lot more similar than they are different. It allowed me to have right. a dialogue right. with my family about coming out, all these different things. And if you can make someone's life a little easier, and yeah. remove that, you know, the worry and the angst that probably yeah. both of us went through and uh, earlier generations, that's a great gift. So I think that's the yeah. uh, the bigger message Absolutely. of the show and why we're right. so lucky to be have been a yeah. part of it. I love that. No, 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 Yay. please sit down. Yeah. Please sit down. Carson and Tom, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. So really, 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 really